In this movie, we'll be demonstrating the proofing options available in the Remote Suite Plus School software. Click the Schools link in the Remote Suite Plus software to begin. The opening screen of the school software will be displayed. Click on the Create a New Order button to start a new order. Step 1, the start step, will be displayed. First, input a name for the order. Next, from the pull down menu, select a school the order is for, or select the option to create a new school. Choose the type of order we will create. For this portion of the movie, let's begin with the envelope proofing option. By default, Miller's will adjust the color and density of the order, or select the option for no adjustments to be made to our order. If there are any special instructions for the order, input the instructions in the Special Order Instructions field here. Click on Step 2, the Configure step. Our next task is to create the layout for the order envelope. At the top of the envelope, is our list of custom packages the client can choose to order. Below the packages are the photos we have captured of each subject. And finally, at the bottom is the actual envelope where the customer will place the order and insert their payment. Let's begin with the display side of the envelope. The default option is a smile graphic as we see here. From the pull down menu, we can specify the display side to be blank. We might choose this option to print a graphic in our studio. Our last option is to create a custom graphic and have Miller's print the graphic for us. If we choose this option, prepare a graphic file to be 8 inches by 13 and a half inches in size with a resolution of 250 dpi and saved as a JPEG. From the pull down menu, select the custom 8 inch by 13 and a half inch option and select our custom graphic file for the display side of the envelope. For the order side of the envelope, we must create a custom graphic listing our package options. For the top information portion, create a layout size as 8 inches by 5 inches at 250 dpi and save as a JPEG as before. Click on the Select Image option and choose the JPEG file. As we see by the example, our photos for each subject will be printed below the information portion. We can choose up to six photos for each subject. However, once more than three images are selected for our subject, the size of the printed photos will become smaller to accommodate the additional images. The last section is the envelope portion. From the pull down menu, we can choose to use the standard option as shown here, or choose a custom option to use our own graphic for the envelope. For a custom envelope graphic, Prepare a graphic file to be 8 inches by 4 inches in size with a resolution of 250 dpi and save as a JPEG. From the pull down menu, select the custom 8 inch by 4 inch option and select the custom file. As we see here, there will be a barcode and the subject's name printed at the bottom. And finally, we can specify to have the word proof printed as a watermark on each photo in the order and the cost for each envelope is 55 cents. Click the Next button. From this page, we have the option to upload the photos we will select to Zenfolio for our customers to view online. Click the Next button. On this page, we can specify any service items we wish to order. Click the Next button. At this point, we'll be prompted to select and import student data into our proof order. Click on the Browse button, navigate to the location of the data file, and import the student data into the software. Click the Build button to go to Step 3, the Build step. Navigate to the location of our image files and load them into the school's program. Double click on the first student's image, input their student ID by typing the number and pressing the Enter or Return key. The student's data will be loaded into the software. Crop the file as it will be printed on the envelope for a customer to choose from. At the bottom center of the screen, click on the Pose icon to hold the student's data and add another image of the same student. Double click on the next image of the same student, crop the image, and click on the Pose icon to add another pose of the same subject. Repeat this process until all the poses for the student have been loaded into the software. When we are finished with the current student, click on the floppy disk icon to save the record. 
double click on the next student, input their student ID, and repeat the same steps again to select the images for this student. As we add our subjects, please note the area along the right side of the screen. This will keep track of the students we have entered into the software. In addition, please notice the green check mark on each image we have selected for our proof order. When completed, click on Step 4, the Review step. A summary of our order will be created. When finished, click on Step 5, the Submit step. Select how the order is to be sorted when it is returned, and select the option to send our order to Miller's. Now, let's take a quick look at the wallet proofing option. From the opening screen, we step through the same process as before. Select the wallet proofing option. Click on step 2, the configure step. From the pull down menu, review the wallet formats available and select the option to use for the order. For this demonstration, let's select the proofing with watermark option. We will see an example of what the wallet for each student will look like once it is printed. Click the Next button. From this point forward, the ordering steps are the same as demonstrated with the Proof Envelope option earlier. During this video, we have stepped through the process of creating a school order with a proof option. If you have any questions, please contact our school customer service at secore.millerslab.com.